I keep coming back every session to the basic message. What is the link between what I am doing right now today and climate change? I approached Galway County Council because every county council have a climate team now and I approached the coordinator and said look this is what I have in mind I'm planning to design a course giving it to the over 50s I was calling it the over 60s now I'm now looking at the over 50s he said look I will get 10 participants to take your course and then we'll give you feedback and take from there he did all of that 10 took the course and it just grew from that so I give talks and I give the six week course I have now done it in about eight or nine counties around Ireland and I will be giving it another eight or nine counties this year My name is Jacintha Barnes I was born in Sligo moved to Galway to start my career. I started working in the University of Galway for about 15 years. After then working in a number of countries around the world, I started working in the UN for about 15 years. I was the Secretary General's ambassador in the country that I was posted to. My work was to encourage governments and presidents to sign up to the Paris Agreement, to encourage them to develop plans of action, and also encourage them and support them to implement the plans. So when I retired, having worked all my life in either the environment, hydrology or climate, I wasn't sure what I would do. So I actually went back to being a full-time student studying climate change in Galway. And at the end of my master's, after talking to a lot of friends and colleagues and siblings my own age group, I felt that our age group hadn't learned about climate change going to school. It wasn't a thing then. And I thought, ah, there's a niche that I really hopefully could start to demystify what is this thing called climate change and what is the relationship between the everyday. There is this thing called intergenerational responsibility. And I believe that our age group, as we get older, we reflect very much on that. And also I believe that if my own age group really understood the connection between the cup of tea and climate change or having the shower and climate change, or driving the car and climate change. We now know how we are contributing, and therefore we have now the power and the understanding that actually I now know how I'm contributing. Maybe there's something I can do to reduce what I'm doing. When I started the course, I had two challenges. One is, what would I say that people would be interested in? And two, who would come to listen to me? The last part is still challenging because my age group often think, oh, don't be bothering me. I'm now retired. I want to enjoy my life. Leave that to somebody else, the children, the government, and all, all sorts of people. So I don't use the usual method in terms of recruitment. What I've done is I've twinned up with the climate teams in every council, and I've teamed up with the age-friendly team in every council. And we have lots of preparatory meetings with these two groups. They pick two or three local leaders who will also help them to spread the word. In addition, Age Friendly and Climate Team have lots of contacts, so we do send it out on social media. So we use several methods, but we find for our age group, it's the nudging. It's somebody telling somebody. I'm Madela Keating. I'm the Creative Engagement Officer for Kilkenny County Council. One of our strategic priorities for Kilkenny is climate action. This very easily aligned with what our priorities were from Creative Ireland's perspective and Kilkenny County Council's perspective is that it's always on the agenda in everything that we do in our work practices at home and in work. How we respond to this ethically and responsibly with the correct information and someone like Jacintha to give us the skills and knowledge to be able to do that. My name is Alison McGrath. I work in the community department in Kilkenny County Council and one of my main roles is in relation to the Age Friendly Programme. In relation to our ageing population in Ireland, we currently have 800,000 people in Ireland over the age of 65. By 2050, that's going to double to 1.6 million people in Ireland. So it really is a very strong cohort of people that we need to engage in relation to climate action and climate change. If we, as the over 60s, reduce the amount that we're pushing up, of course we're helping to meet Ireland's targets. So if you start to make those changes, you are significantly helping the government to meet their targets. And again, it's back to the aspect of the knowledge side of it. It is about helping the group to appreciate there is such a thing as a target and that we are part of a continent that is looking at mandatory targets, unlike other parts of the, the world. So yes, we can contribute substantially to the targets. Absolutely.